I deduce through pure reason alone that pervading all space is a substance which I will call the ether, and light is a disturbance which moves through this ether. You know, Mona Lisa, light reflects in the same way the sound echoes. Come, mm, see. I would wager the Pope's beard that light must be some kind of undulating wave, like sound. I'm convinced that matter is made of atoms, and that light must be some kind of corpuscle. Light is not a wave, light is a stream of particles. All of my experiments seem to support that light is a longitudinal wave, like sound. How can Newton possibly think that light is a particle? <sighs> that upstart Newton. Who does he think he is? Light is made of a stream of particles. What's poppycock? Light is clearly a wave. For 150 years, people in the scientific community have blindly adhered to Newton's idea that light was a stream of particles. My experiments with the interference of light make it excessively clear that light is actually a transverse wave. Has anyone stopped to think that maybe Newton was wrong? It is pure speculation. But perhaps light is a wave that travels along the lines of force that surrounds electric and magnetic objects. Well, I'll be a piece of old Argus. Those equations I wrote to explain electricity and magnetism, they predict the existence of electromagnetic waves and that such waves would travel at 300,000 kilometers per second. The speed of light. Old Faraday was right. Light is an electromagnetic wave. The only way I can explain this photoelectric effect is to assume that when light hits an, or interacts with individual atoms, it behaves like a particle, not like a wave. Uh, light is a particle? <laughs> this idea is much more radical than my special relativity theory that I came up with last month. Today we realise that light is a quantum phenomena. Light is neither a wave nor a particle, but exhibits both properties. We can think of light as a wave and a particle.